Hordarian, a treasurer of a monastery, or someone who controls a lot of money. Hordarian, somebody who owns a monastery, somebody who controls a lot of money. So if I was a Hordarian, what would I do? First off, I would definitely start a dictionary company, because that is a passion of mine, is words. Words to what? For associations? So I find more associations in life to have more humorous writing whatnot and more humorous speech that's more enjoyable. I don't know why I like words, vocab words. I guess I was good at it. Then I had some reinforcement of such talent of word memorization. So I'm like, oh, I'm going to do that. You know, that type of thing. Uh, another old dream of mine was to start a foster home school thing. Albeit, I sort of wanted to be a successful Dumbledore type person before I did that. You know, I wanted a few successful business, not just be the teacher who's only done teaching. Who's only done teaching is very lame. I want to be doing other things. I want to be a successful for being a headmaster. So dictionary company and foster home slash school and the Elon Musk-esque style, albeit it wasn't always, I didn't always refer to it as Elon Musk style. It's just because he did that with his kids, the actually experiencing the learning stuff, actually doing instead of wrote or memorator. Wrote memorator? I don't know the word. This is why you learn words. <laughs> what else would I do a lot of monies? If I controlled a lot of monies, I suppose I would be, uh, maybe I'd be quite tribal. You know, do a lot of business ideas with friends. Like, ooh, I have a family friend association with this person. I give them money to invest in their business idea, their dream idea, yada, yada, yada. So I guess that's angel investor. I suppose I would also be an angel investor. I'd, you know, start some co-op, worker co-op. What else would I do is I would probably flee the country I'm in right now. I'm not a big fan of the USA, albeit I think the USA is cool in concept. I don't think it works functioning wise too well. I would prefer living in a place like Finland or Estonia, albeit I would need to be functioning. So I suppose I'd need to save up for a graduate school or get some type of decent degree to get into Finland or Estonia on some visa. But, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, Hordarian, the person who controls a lot of monies. It's kind of funny. How is that related to monastery? Somebody who owns a monastery controls a lot of monies. I guess this is the Catholic one with the, when they used to collect heaps of the monies. Uh, what do I do with money? I would do a lot of YouTube stuff. I like acting, but I'm too shy to act. Therefore, YouTube is really good for me because I get to talk my ass off by myself most of the time. And if it's not by myself, it's with a selected group of people who I'm comfortable with. So YouTube is quite ideal. I'd probably spend heaps of money trying to do YouTube stuff. And I, w I would also spend heaps of money on beautifying. I'd want to be pretty and present my future dates with a pretty self instead of a... Uh, I don't know what happened to be self. Eh. Yeah, my base is okay. Oh, I'm okay. Everybody can be a 6.5 without... If they don't... If they take care of yourself even a smidge, you can be a 6.5 out of 10. Attractiveness. Probably, unless you got some serious issue, then I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm like six foot, six foot one, six foot two, something like that. Imagine if part of the wanting to look pretty had to gain some height. That would suck. I do like the Gattaca stuff and extend my legs. That'd be painful. But you could if you were a Hordarian, if you had heaps of heaps of monies, you probably could get taller if you really wanted to. Albeit, that's not something I would do. <sighs> that probably is something I would do. I am that sensitive. With hair loss, I do everything. I do microneedling, I do Rogaine, I do the finasteride witch doctor pill that makes you have no sex drive, albeit it hasn't affected me yet, but you never know. I think it takes a while to affect you. Ba 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 or it's very small amount of cases. But all the dudes are paranoid about it when they take it. But they prefer having hair. I like the trade-off. It's a worthwhile trade-off. Or Darian. Hordarian, what would I do? I get a hair transplant, I would do a lot of skincare stuff, I would do that ab sculpting stuff, probably. Wow, I used to think I'd do a lot more charity if I was a Hordarian, if I had a lot of monies. Maybe not, maybe I'd be kind of selfish. What charities have you been interested in anymore? I used to be interested in this charity stuff, I haven't done any of that in such a while. Oog. Andrew Yang does a good charity stuff, I could copy that. A lot of school stuff is what I like, education. Because it could be, you know, it teaches you too. It's, you know, it's a selfish charity because you can also benefit from it. You can learn how to teach via 
doing the teaching charity and whatnot. I like books, too. I would like to make vocab books. I could do that. Well, dictionary, writing dictionary, lexography, I'd love to study and whatnot. With If I was a Hordarian with heaps of heaps of monies. Or maybe start your own country. <laughs> I don't know what I'm getting at. All right. Finn. Hordarian.